Hi, welcome all. In this video, we are going to see the independent sample t-test and Welch test. So the prerequisites for independent sample t-test are data has to be normal, population variance should be unknown and both the populations should have equal variance and for known population variance the z test is most recommended so for this particular thing we will have to import certain libraries so let us import numpy as np import scipy as scipy and from scipy import stats so since i have created a file on my drive using data.csv so i am required to import that file for this particular thing i will require to import pandas as pd first and then using pd.read i will access the file in python so let's see the data see data is for male and female candidates so there are 21 observations of male and female candidates wherein height of respective people are taken in this data so now before we run this so for this particular thing we have a null hypothesis wherein mean of population 1 is equal to mean of population 2 and the alternate hypothesis remains mean of population 1 is not equal to mean of population 2 let's read the data using s1 is equal to data of male and say s2 is data of female so these are the two independent samples which we are going to compare against the hypothesis see error is because you have given a comma so change it to colon and run it so error is gone and now the data is there in our required format so using start stats.ttest underscore ind we can get the independent sample t-test test statistics and p-value in previous video we have used a pair test wherein same command stat.ttest underscore rel was used so you can see p value is 3.5 raised to 10 raised to minus 7 so which is far less than the level of significance alpha which default value of which is 0 0.05 so then we fail to accept the null hypothesis so with alternate hypothesis can be accepted saying mean of population 1 is not equal to mean of population 2 so since both the population variants were same we have used the independent sample t-test now consider a case where we have a different population variances so in place of true variance is equal to false and with this python will run the welch test for us so you can see this test statistic the test statistics remain same the p-value has changed to 1.05 into 10 raised to minus 6 which again is far less than 0 0.05 the level of significance so again the null hypothesis we are failing to accept and alternate hypothesis is accepted so let us consider a case for two independent samples t-test from the descriptive statistics so uh, let's see so in this case write all the descriptive statistics one by one say for example mean, mean 1 is equal to 23.45 and so on we have indicated mean standard deviation and the number of observations so let us use command stats dot t test underscore ind from stats from underscore stats so we have taken mean one standard deviation one number of observations one and similarly for second set of samples mean two and all and comma equal variance underscore variance is true so writing equal variance true is optional but when it is false for welch test we will write false and run the test so the test statistic is minus 1.81341 and the p value is 0 0.078871 so this is more than our level of significance 0 0.05 so we can say the null hypothesis is accepted and the mean of population 1 is equal to mean of population 2 so this was all about conducting the independent sample t-test welch test for regular data and the descriptive statistics if you like our video do like share and subscribe thank you